Hey guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today is a beautiful day for crafting. What makes it a beautiful day? It's thundering and raining outside, so uh, it's a great day to stay cozy and warm and get my craft on inside. I thought I would make some journal covers because I really need to get going ready for my craft fair. And I have all these fabrics and pillowcases and stuff that I got from Goodwill, etc that I wanted to make um, into covers. So we're gonna do that today. So I thought I'd bring you along and I'm not sure how well this is all gonna turn out. It's a little bit of an experiment, but let's do this together. Okay, so you'd be impressed with me right off the bat is I did some ironing. I don't even iron my work clothes, you guys. I make my husband do it. So um, I did iron some of these items that I got, got from the thrift store. Uh, so this is just a uh, pillowcase cover. And I ironed this up. I thought this would make a beautiful journal cover uh, with the butterflies. So I did that. And then, <laughs> then I was ironing this one, which it, right off the bat is super gorgeous. Like this is a pillowcase. It's gorgeous. I love this because I'm going to use this for the inside and I'm going to use um, this beautiful uh, fairy fabric. Um, for the cover and it's got some sparkles in the fabric. I don't know if you can see that but I I don't know about you guys But when I'm ironing my mind kind of wanders and so I'm ironing away and I'm like, oh this this little Fairy has grandma boobs. I thought I thought she had uh, Really saggy boobs you guys, but it turns out it's actually a little sweater. I'm like, oh my goodness perhaps Perhaps I shouldn't be ironing if that's what I think, but um, so yeah, I had a good chuckle with myself. I'm like, oh, it's granny boobs, but no, it's the fairy's wearing a little sweater. So yeah, uh, ironing often lets me um, have some time to look at the patterns to make sure there's nothing nefarious on them and um, to see if there's any marks on them. And I just, yeah, when I was thinking of this, I thought about um, the birdcage, the movie The Birdcage, because isn't it in one scene where they're eating the soup and they get to the bottom of the bowl and the pattern on the bowl is like some sort of weird Kama Sutra pattern on the bottom. So anyways, it made me think of that. And then that made me think of um, Jean Hackman. And I've never met my mother-in-law. Um, my husband and her are estranged, but um, <laughs> my husband says that his mom looks exactly like Jean Hackman in drag. And so now I've just got that image stuck in my head. Uh, yeah, the birdcage and Jean Hackman in drag. So what that has to do with journal covers, I have no idea. But that's what my mind was going all over the place today while ironing. Um, I also got this beautiful pillowcase as well at the same time at the same thrift store. I thought this would make a gorgeous poppy journal because look at these poppies and then this for the inside. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? So we've got that and then I want to do fall journal and then this gorgeous soft fabric I want to make. Um, I'm using cracker boxes so I have two different sizes. Yeah, so I have the... Um, family size of box and then the regular size and I really like these for journals uh, so we've got some of those to play with I also have this that I need to um, kind of finish making into a journal cover this is that fabric paper that we made with dryer sheets that was really cool so I'm going to cut this down and this I want to be a blue journal so I know there's like a weird shadow you guys I don't really know how to fix that sorry about that and then um, I've already kind of prepared this one a little bit. This is some of the fabric that I got at uh, Sewing World, I believe it was. And um, I really like this. I'm making a elephant journal. And I thought this, you know, kind of went really nice with the papers. And so this is going to be the cover. We'll have some sort of focal point or something on here. And then I'm just using a, an envelope. And then on the inside is some more of that paper or some more of that paper, goodness, some more of that fabric that I got and I thought this looked really neat as well. So that is what I'm doing. So um, I guess we could start with this one. So what I want to do is I want it to have some structure because this, this envelope, I feel like I'm really, I'm gonna just move my table a bit. I've just got a white piece of paper over top of my table. I found that I was getting some weird reflection um, from my glass mat, my Tim Holtz glass mat. So let's do 
um, this and I want to use some Fabri-Tac and I probably am going to Mod Podge over this as well just to stiffen up the fabric. So I'll water down some Mod Podge after I have kind of glued it down. So let's get gluing this down. I also want one of my little loyalty cards or what have you. Yeah. I'm going to use one of these just to spread out the Fabri-Tac. So, yeah, the other nice thing I think about using, I have this rolled paper that my kids used to craft on. Uh, the other nice thing about using this stuff is I can just, you know, I can stamp on it and then I can use it as pages in my journals as well. Um, so like kind of like a little drop sheet or whatever. So that'll be um, cool to use. So let's start. Um, I cut... This was kind of my theory behind this. I've never done this before, so this will be a learning experience for both of us. I'm gonna try and, maybe I need to go up this way. Okay, that feels a little better. Get in frame. Um, so I think, so what I wanted to do, let's get my brain working here, is I cut the inside piece smaller because I didn't want to have to wrap it around this side and then I wanted this to be able once this is down to be able to go over top just to kind of finish it off. I think that's what I'll do. So we need to start with the inside first. So I might have to do a little bit of trimming. Looks like this is the straighter edge. So let's do it this way. That might be a better way to go. Okay, so we'll do this and then I'm going to cut it here and then just rip it and then we'll be able to have a little scrap piece as well. I can just use these scissors. So try to get it as close as possible but I want a little hangover as well. There we go. I think I got it. So I'll just rip it. There we go. And then we have this beautiful piece that we can make a ruffle or play with. And then let's get rid of some of these little threads that we have. Um, where's my garbage? I keep moving things around on myself and then I forget where everything is. Okay, so this is the outside. We want the inside. Again, just I get these envelopes just out of the recycling at work. Um, so whatever I can reuse, recycle, and make new, I love it. Okay. Let us, oh yes, and I need to remind myself I have a big hole in my fabric tack, which means it's going to come out fast. And a lot of it. So I am going to sew. Let's just kind of do this. Oop. Am I still in frame? Yeah. Okay. And then let's put this lid on right away. Then I want to take this and it's going to get all gunky. I wish I could find my other one that's already gunked up, but oh, you know what? Let's just use this piece of leftover cardboard. And I'm just going to smear it along. Might need a little bit more. Again, I don't need it to... Um, I don't need it to um, totally hold it down because we are sewing it, but I do want a little bit of, ah, that catches quickly, a little bit of um, security in knowing that it's not going to flop open or, you know, just kind of bunch up when you're moving it. So, okay, moment of truth. Should we, yeah, let's do it this way. I think, I think. Okay, and lay that on like this. Is that going to work? Hopefully I didn't cut it too, too short. There we go. That, oops, let's get in frame. That looks good. I like that. And that'll just hold it down like this or fold it down um, 
going to burnish it down. What do I have? I want my, yes. So this is from Pampered Chef. <laughs> of course, I don't use it for cooking because I don't really like cooking. But I do love it for smoothing down things. I am using this because I find this little rubber piece on the fabric. Well, that's not too bad. Sometimes it catches. But Okay, so that's good. We've got the inside done. Um, oh, why are you not sticking? See, I didn't want the... Okay, well, that's not going to hold it as well as I would like, but that's okay because we are sewing it. And it should still be okay. Yeah. Let me just trim this up. Because, again, I want to fold over. And I'm not really doing the best job, but that's okay. No one's going to see because it'll be covered up. Oh, yes. So I hope you are all doing well. I am. I'm not sad that we're getting rain, guys. I'm going to tell you that because it has been so warm here. Um, so, so very hot. We've got issues now with um, in the city of Calgary with chinch bugs which are attaching to the grass to get moisture out of the grass and then it's leaving like brown spots so it looks like um, a dog has peed on your lawn but it's really just these chinch bugs that are you know sucking the moisture out of the, the uh, blades of grass so that's no good we don't want that okay so yay liking that now we got to do this side and again I'm going to mod podge two to thicken it up this corner is bugging me. So let us just add some more fabric tack. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want. I didn't want the fabric tack necessarily coming through the fabric and getting it all goopy. But that is okay too because, like I said, we will be, I think I'll mod podge it just to give it a little bit more stiffness and security. Okay, okay. Now I want to do this side. And yeah, I'm excited to get working on these projects and get back in my groove. And yeah, I guess I haven't really told you guys what I've really been up to this summer. Um, so we did go camping twice to a place called Kinbrook Island. Um, it's on uh, Lake Newell. And... Um, so we went camping twice there. The first time was just our family. So my husband, my kids, my mom, um, and the dog. We, got, we went camping for oh, four days, three, four days. Um, we ended up coming back a day early because my son had um, jiu-jitsu camp starting which um, it ended up being good that we came back a day early because the day that we were scheduled to leave, it ended up um, really being quite windy and rainy. And it's never fun to pack up camping in that type of weather and then unpack in that type of weather. So uh, that was good that we came back a day early. And then he did his camp and had a lot of fun with that. And then we went again couple weeks later but it was just myself my mom my kids and then my dear friend Rosanna and do I have that right yeah Rosanna and um and her family and we had an absolute blast like oh my goodness it was such great memory making with the kids the kids were like disconnected from electronics and yeah, we did lots of um, floating in the lake and swimming. And then we went one day to go look at the aqueducts um, that were made many, many, many years ago. And that was a fun learning experience. So I think I'm just going to, how am I going to do this? Just clip it like this and maybe like this. Um, so, is that how I want to do it? I probably just buggered it up, but. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we did the aqueducts. And then, of course, you know, at night we had our campfires. And, um, 
Then the kids were playing like charades and stuff. We played this fun kind of game um, where we called it um, remote control. So we would like say, oh, um, the comedy channel or the cooking channel. And then they would like pretend that they were um, the TV show of that and doing that around the campfire. That was fun. And then, of course, we did the TikTok trend of the tortilla and um, water in the mouth. But the funny thing, the funny thing there was, the first time we did it, we didn't have, um, didn't have tortillas, but we had, <laughs> we had sliced cheese slices, craft cheese slices. And so the kids were hitting each other in the face with craft cheese slices. Oh, it was a mess, but it was fun. Um, she's got two girls and then, um, her husband was there, and then um, they also have um, a young man who lives with them. They're um, supportive roommates for um, a young man with Down syndrome. Um, he was so awesome. We had so much fun with him. He was just uh, a riot, and it was so nice for my kids to, you know. Um, that's actually how Rosanna and I met. We were um, working as um, special needs um, teachers, um, ch they called them child development facilitators, um, at the school, and that's how we met, and then we ended up becoming roommates, but, um, so, yeah, it was nice that my kids could <clears throat> experience, um, you know, compassion and, and learning about people with special needs and stuff, because they don't, haven't really spent that time around, around people with special needs, um, like, I have a cousin who is special needs, but he's in a, living in his own own kind of place uh, much like um, Rosanna offers and uh, yeah so yeah it's funny with my friend Rosanna and I we um, lived together I was taking over renting uh, the place where she, the basement that she was living because she was going to Scotland um, to yeah just kind of work and visit family and just kind of do some traveling and so I took over her place basement suite that she was renting but we lived together for a little while before she left and oh my goodness she just do you ever have those friends that just bring out the best in you you know like no matter how much time passes you guys get together it hasn't skipped a beat um you just have such a good time and someone who actually like just just gets you like Oh, I just, I love her so much. She's just so special to me. I'm so lucky to have such great friends. And my husband has some amazing friends too. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm so blessed to have her in my life. Cause she's just one of those people that, you know, they just, you can just totally be yourself. They totally gets you. There's, you know, no pretenses. Like, you know, if my house is a complete disaster, I know she's not going to come over and, and judge me. And yeah, she's just so special to me. So yeah, I love spending time with her. And when she went to um, Scotland, we actually lost touch. And I was kind of devastated because she just, oh, she, I don't know. She just, yeah, she just makes me a better person. I, I don't know how else to explain it. We just have such a good time. And um, so anyways, we lost touch. And then I was snooping around on Facebook and I saw this person named Rosanna but it had you know different last name and I'm like well of course she could be married so I had sent her a direct message saying hey not sure if you're the same person um but if you are I've been thinking about you for years and years and would love to get back in touch with you see how you're doing and um, it ended up being her but she didn't see the message until honestly I think what was it like two or three late years after I had sent it but then we we ended up reconnecting and we've got kids around the same age she moved back to Calgary and yeah we just again picked up where we left off with our our families and so yeah I am blessed and she's a crafter too which is awesome she loves to thrift loves to craft you guys should see her amazing furniture work like she redoes um furniture the painting that she does on it oh my gosh it's gorgeous if I could find room in my house for the stuff that she does I yeah I almost want to um well we don't really have a, a style of furniture and stuff or like have a I guess a theme in our house um because my husband is kind of like 
don't know, he's kind of uh, the Martha Stewart of men, so he needs to have a say, in, which is horrible. It really is, you guys, because I can't get anything done. Because um, he's got a hum and haw and he can't commit to anything. But, um, yeah, I'd love to kind of redo my house so I could incorporate her furniture into it because it is gorgeous. Okay, so there is one cover kind of done. Again, just tacked it down with Fabri-Tac. And I hate when my Fabri-Tac goops up like that. Um, so then we will put this aside. Excuse me. And I will Mod Podge this, or like um, with watered down Mod Podge, I will do that off camera we'll just let this dry so we have this and I think that'll go really nice with that okay one cover done then we have okay so we've got this is our elephant journal this is going to be our blue journal I just have to cut this down and I guess we could do that together don't know if my trimmer is actually, it's not big enough, but I do want to trim it down. Okay, so our average size pages, I need a ruler. Uh, let's see. So with the edges trimmed off, I want to do inches. My brain works better in inches, even though I'm Canadian and should be using centimeters. Uh, so this is about eight and a quarter inches. So this is a fairly straight edge here. So if we go eight and a quarter inches this way, what do I have to mark this? Um, hmm. Maybe, 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 I'll just do it this way. Eight and a quarter, well that's basically 21 centimeters. Okay. And then I need a long enough ruler. And I don't have a big black marker or anything. Well, maybe this one will work, okay. So where's our little clip? Right there. Okay, I'm gonna use this beautiful long metal ruler. And we'll try to have it straight a minute. Where's that? Over there. Okay. And then we'll just use this marker. Or I could have been smart and done it on the other side. That's okay. It's done now. Yeah, I think it'll camouflage in better on this side in case you see the, the mark but okay let's cut this down and what else have I been up to camping um, and just work busy at work um, really sad um, I'm not sure if you've noticed but there is no meowing kitty in the background Sadly, we recently, about a week and a bit ago, we had to put our dear sweet Link down. Um, he just, he was 16 and unfortunately um, he did start kind of peeing everywhere and we just, we can't have that. Um, I know it broke my husband's heart and I kind of, oh, I made that just a bit too small. I should have made it bigger. That's okay, I'll make my pages smaller for this one. Um, yeah, so he started peeing on things, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't continue to have him do that, and yeah, so we did put him down. Why is that not straight? Ugh. Um, so, very, very quiet around our house now. Um, Link was w one of the first kitties that my husband and I got. We got uh, two cats when we started building this house that we're in. Uh, we were living at my mom's at the time. And we got a black cat and then our gray cat, Link. And, okay, this is going to end up being a smaller journal. Um, 
Cora Kink had to be put down a couple years ago now. She had diabetes. And then the same thing started happening with her. as She um, uh, lost a lot of weight, lost hair, and then um, was peeing everywhere. And oh, I just, you know, you can't have that. Your house smells, you know, no matter how much you try to clean afterwards. And yeah, so super sad about that. But... Um, we are slowly waiting for our animals to, to cross the rainbow bridge so that we can replace floors and carpeting in our house because our house is, uh, what are we at? They're 13 years old now. And of course our animals and kids have done a number on it. So I need to do something on the inside of this. I'm not sure what yet. I might find a fabric just a plain fabric to go on the inside and um, sew it just because I don't really like this and I'm not sure paper is going to stick to it so we've got this one so what do we have one two done what else do we have going on here um, how much time do we have we're at 26 okay that's not bad um, let's then move on to I really, really want to get started on this one. Oh, and I forgot my lid on my Fabri-Tac. Okay. Got strings everywhere. So I do want to take this now. I mean, if you really want, you can pick out the stitches with the seam ripper. I'm not about to do that. I don't have that kind of time. So. I have to hide my beautiful fabric scissors. So this is going to be perfect on one of our big journal covers. Is it? Is it? No. Not quite. Not quite perfect. I say that, but then when I cut this off, this is going to open up. It's going to be long enough that way. Or, or again, I could just have that smaller on the inside and then make sure I cut this big enough to wrap around like we did with the other one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So what else? Um, yes, poor Link. Um, other than that, oh, we went to a, a fun... I'm just going to use my scissors and cut this off. Uh, we went to a thing through, I found it through Facebook, but it's called Clued Up. You guys may have heard of them. They do almost like, what do I want to call it? Um, scavenger haunts or like a kind of like a locked room, but you're not in a locked room. You're in the outside, but this Clued Up, it was Alice in Wonderland themed. And so you had to find what happened to Alice and find her and save her and there's all these clues on your cell phone like it's all done digitally so there's actually like it's it was in the city of Calgary it's done all over the world though and um, you you get these clues on your phone and you go to these different areas like in the downtown area and then it, when you get to that area a, a clue pops up on your phone and then there's some things that you have to um, some questions you have to answer and stuff like that little clues and then it leads you all around so that was fun it was a hot hot day when we did it um, and we almost you know divorced as a family on the first question <laughs> before we realized there was no physical clues to actually find but um, we ended up finishing it so that's good and it was a nice way to spend the day with the family again away from electronics because kids these days just don't know how to go outside and play anymore and as much as I try to you know eagle eye them and make sure they're not on all day I gotta work too and you know I, I yeah you can only do so much as a parent you try right so I'm just ripping this off I think this is going to be a cool piece to use as a ruffle I'm going to disconnect this and then I'll ruffle this up for the side of a page yeah Fun. Okay. 
And here we go. So, yeah, so did you guys do anything fun over the summer? Anything? Oh, that's going to be a neat place, too. Um, did you go anywhere exciting? We didn't even get to Vegas this year. We usually go to Vegas, but sadly, um, we didn't have, like, our friends that we always go with. Oh, I should have ironed this, maybe. Um, our friends that we usually go with, they were taking their kids this year. Oh, that's perfect. Um, but we haven't been able to renew our kids' passports since you know 2020 so we didn't have their passports in time okay i'm gonna cut this but then i think i'm going to iron it off screen because this is perfect this is like the perfect perfect length i don't know can you guys see that i'm like kind of all over the place here <laughs> sorry <laughs> must be getting sick um yeah i think that's perfect for length and then I still have lots to left over to use and yeah let's do that so um what else what else what else can I tell you guys um we had a few barbecues with friends friends 50th birthday um yeah it was just it was a busy summer but yet we didn't really do a lot either same time I don't know I don't know how to explain it I think you guys know what I mean though things are busy but not um, my son Layton did a and my daughter did a daughter Alexis did a lemonade stand made some money that way we did um, I told them to do a pay what you can and um, that went off really well for them because they had some people come by who didn't have money on them, but they still got lemonade. And then they had other people come by who literally gave them like $10 for a glass of lemonade, which was so kind, right? Like we've got such a good community um, around here. So that was cool for them to do and keep them again off the dreaded electronics. So I'm just looking to make sure that there is no stains or anything and I'm thinking of that I did that fairy journal last year right before the craft fair and it sold at the craft fair quickly um I kind of think those digitals might work well or I think dreams etc might have one I'm gonna buy here's my little saggy booby <laughs> fairy oh my word I can't believe I thought that like yes Shella, they're gonna put fairies with old grandma boobs on them Right? On a, on a child's um, pillowcase. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Um, do, do, do. So let's, do we need some overhang. I do want to try to straighten this up, though. Where is, okay, I'm going to cut down the sewing edge. Actually, can I just, yeah, I can just rip the seam right out, which makes me happy. And then we will try to rip this edge. Okay, so yeah, what I wanted to really tell you guys about this is um, even though I did buy fabrics at a fabric store, go to your thrift store. I found these at Velou Village. And um, with cotton and fabric being as expensive as it is, um, you can find some great pieces of fabric or you know stuff like this at the dollar store that you can repurpose and just use the fabric like my mom found some really great um organic like an organic cotton um sheet set i think it was a flat sheet or a fitted sheet something like that and uh yeah organic cotton is super expensive so she lucked out on that and then like for the yardage that you get i mean you can't beat that i mean you guys saw how much i spent on those little pieces of fabric um they were like 21.99 for a meter and uh yeah i mean you can you get your money's worth i think this was 2.99 for the pillowcase or 1.99 or something silly like that so you can't go wrong with reusing things so um, I want to 
I'll try to rip this out too, I think. Be easier to work with. Yeah, did some thrifting. Other than that, that was pretty much the summer. Went by so quickly. You always think you have all this time and you blink and it's over. My kids have grown so much. Oh, my oldest, Arden, he is like a young man. He's got hairy legs, he's got hair in his armpits, and oh, you know, all the, all the manly stuff that happens to boys. And my daughter definitely is growing up as well. She's growing like a bad weed. What? Okay, I'm sorry, I need to just concentrate for half a second because I can't remember which side I wanted because there's a little stain on one end. This is the end I want. Okay. And then we want it to hang over a bit. So let's cut this way. Just kind of winging it here, guys. Oh, so I am going to need to cover this because it is showing through the fabric. So I will need to do that. Unless I just fold it the other way. There's nothing saying we can't do that. Does this? No, that shows through as well. Okay, I will have to cover that with something. But getting the, the fabric cut for it is like half the battle here. So let's continue on. Sorry. Had a little, little squirrel moment there, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Let's cut this about here. I'll just rip it. There we go. Lots of fabric left to make more journals, which makes me happy. Now we'll need to do this. I'm going to put this down this way, and then I will measure like this. So I'm going to kind of keep like, what is that, an inch? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Numbers are hard. I'll say about a half an inch all the way around, maybe. Something like that. I need to... Is that going to look good? Oh yeah, it should be kind of in the middle there. Because I don't really want this folded edge. I'm going to have to cut that away. So maybe about there. Yeah, and then now we're just kind of gearing up for school. Which is crazy. I can't believe my youngest is now in middle school. My daughter's in middle school starting grade 6. My middle child is going into grade seven. And my oldest is going into grade nine last year. So I've got one starting middle school, one ending middle school. Um, and my oldest, Arden, he's going to be 14 in November. So he wants his learners. So there's that. Every parent's, I don't know if it's a dream, a nightmare, a little bit of both. Um, I mean, it'll be nice if he does drive, he can help. He can either, you know, drive himself someplace or drive his brother and sister. I guess, you know, we got some time to worry about that though. We've got two years, but, you know, it just happens so quickly. Okay, what are we at for time? Uh, still doing all right. So there we go. We've got this one. So I will have to cover this before I glue it, but there is another cover ready to go. So that'll be the inside. And I may want to use... Hmm, I was thinking about maybe some lace for a pocket. I might see, um, sorry, I'm all not in frame again. I might see if I can find some thicker lace that we could use as a pocket. Um, 
Oh, we could potentially use, so I'm just grabbing out some stuff that I have here for my mom. Is that going to be big enough for pocket? Mm. Could be, which is wider. That's just a little bit wider, but I don't necessarily like that cream. And there's this one. This could be nice as a pocket. Maybe I'll do that. So then I'll sew that as well. Let's get this cut. I like the edging on that. Let's go ahead and cut that to size and we'll put it with it so that when I sew, um, sew it all together, that uh, we'll have that pocket in there. So there we go. We've got three journal covers ready to go. Hip hip hooray, which means I'll have three journals that I need to get done. So there, there is that. I think that's going to be adorable. So one, two, three. I'm going to just stack that over there. What's next? Oh, I have this. So this was... I just did some fun collaging and uh, sewed around it, but I didn't put anything on the inside. Um, yeah, I didn't put any papers on the inside, but I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pull out my stencils and I'll just stencil some stuff in here and then I'll put pockets. I'll do pockets with something here. So I'm going to wait to do that. I'll just set that one aside over here. And let's go. Oh, and then there's this one too. So okay, there's three here. That collage one is four. And then I've had this one for a while. I wanted to make this one into a William Morris journal. And so this was some fabric again of my mom's. This is a cracker box. Uh, turn it over. This is some... William Morris Digitals and I have printed out um, some and I have them in a project bag. Let's pull that out. So these bags guys actually they're really great. They are the Ziploc brand 10 freezer extra large bags. So you get 10 bags and they're 33 centimeters by 38.1 centimeters. So they're a great size. They would keep your papers and stuff in. I just, I really like using them as um, project bags to keep myself organized because I don't have enough plastic project bins. Um, and they're, they're nice. They're easier to store too, to tell you the truth. Um, so we have some gorgeous digitals. And these digitals are from Digital Hobby Helper on Etsy. Um, one that I got was William Morris Digital Paper Paintings and Fabric Texture. And this other one was William Morris Junk Journal Ephemera Pack. So they one was like a dollar something and the other one was two something. So I mean for five bucks you get a William Morris um, paper pack. They're like a digital kit type of thing. And... So as you can see, I this is just photocopy paper that I originally printed this out on. And I glued that down and I think it looks beautiful with this cover. I think they go well. Like the colors go great. And then we'll just quickly quickly flip through some of the papers. Um, let's move this off to the side because that's done. Yeah, these are great, great papers. This is not all of them. This is just some of them that I printed out that I thought might work well together. So I need to trim down the edges of these. Um, oh, again, I um, I recycle my paper. And this is a laser, special laser print paper. It's a lot uh, smoother and kind of shinier and thicker than copy paper. Um, I just like the way it, it prints out the digitals. And so um, I do reuse this. I will put some coffee dyed paper or something on the back of this to cover this. Um, yeah. Or, I mean, I could put a, 
pocket over this or what have you. But these are, are really great. Yeah, I just love these. So this is from that Digital Hobby Helper. You can find the William Morris um, paper kits. Just beautiful, beautiful. But I really wanted to get to the ephemera to show you guys. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can see the color difference. A little bit on camera, but... Um, yeah, these are just super, super gorgeous. These are all going to look beautiful in this journal. Let's flip through it, but I really want to get to this ephemera. Almost there. Okay. So look at these tags. Oh, so pretty. Some labels. More labels and stamps. Yeah, so this is some little tiny envelopes. This is going to be really cool to work with. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. Oh, and then these um, postcards. Do you want me great journaling cards or, on, or um, pockets and stuff? So there was that. So I have the William Morris journal that we're going to do. that all back in my little project bag with the cover and that is ready to go so one two three four five journals let's see if we can squeak out another couple and put that there okay um so yeah, I'm going to do these. I'm going to do, so we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll get those cut up. So nine and then 10. I wanted to at least get 10 done. And I have this guy. So I just gessoed on him. And I have some of these napkins kind of want to stick with fall I'm just thinking whether or not I could put him on the front oh, a small one that's a big one let's open this up and take a look at how big this one is. Again, if you guys are interested in receiving some of these napkins, let me know. I'll make up some packs uh, that I can send out. Because so I think they'll be really, really quite, um, quite neat to play with. Can you tell I'm trying not to say fun? <laughs> it might squeak out, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, is that not going to be adorable? I'll have to put some other papers around it. Let's see. I need my tape, which could be tricky because I think my kids took it away from me. Do so I have a little bit of tape hidden away in my drawer? No. No, no, no. So, oh, here's the tape. Oh, they actually put it away. My bad. It was covered up. Oh! <laughs> This is fantastic. My kids brought my tape back. That was so sweet of them. Do you know why they brought it back? Because it's empty. <laughs> okay, well, we're not going to do that. So what I was going to do is, I'm sure you guys have seen the trick of taking a piece of tape and then just sticking it and pulling it and it'll take that extra layer of napkin off. So I'll have to find some tape to do that. Well... Okay, that's not very helpful. Uh, I was thinking if this might go with that. I could. I could do it around, but no, I think I want to do something else with this. Um, so, okay, we'll rethink that. Maybe we'll go back to cutting fabric. Oh, you guys, I tried my hand. I had gotten years and years ago, like, honestly, I think I was still a kid when I got it this paper making kind of frame uh, plastic frame 
kind of kids quality but I pulled it out and uh, made a thing of paper yesterday and I need to obviously perfect my technique because it wasn't that great um, it was cool to do and I want to try again but if it does not go as well as I hope then I'll have to leave it to the professional paper makers and just buy it from Etsy and let someone else do it but yeah I was kind of experimenting with that I even had um put some go uh what is it you know the Victoria's Secret um kind of perfume body spray that has the glitter in it you kind of have to shake it up before you put it on you spray it on and then you're you've got glitter on you you look pretty uh I sprayed some of that on it and yeah the glitter on it looks really cool and it smells nice so we'll just have to see I need it to dry a little bit more but we'll have to see if how that works if it works out well okay so this is too small for the big box okay so we will use the small box and then it'll fit perfect look at that all right let's just go ahead and i mean i wonder <laughs> don't mind me i'm just thinking if i could just cut but then i'm gonna have i'm not gonna have the nice edge like this okay Rethink, rethink. I, my mom's probably screaming at me, no, do this. <laughs> do it this way. But well, let me know, mom, if there's a better way to do this. But I'm just going to cut the zipper off and then measure out. We'll just go from there. That's what I'm going to do. So get all scissors. How much time do we have left? Oh, eight minutes. Okay. So let's see how well this works. Let's zip this up. And then I don't know if I can rip this stuff. I would assume not because it's almost canvas like. I have another one of these, so if I mess up too badly. Oh, it does rip. Oh, it's fun to rip. I can get all my anger out. Mm. Okay, and then this is where it's stitched. So we'll just cut. Off. Now, what is this made out of? Does it say? Oh, it probably says, but it's way too small for my eyes. Um, 85% cotton, 15% linen. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. And I'll just rip it down this way. And then we'll rip it again. <laughs> We're going to try anyways. Oh, I wonder... I just see some stuff over on one of my little shelves there. Bear with me one second. I am just going to take a gander. I have, oh, what is this? This might be too thin, too plain. Cause what I could do with this stuff is cut it to size and then I can just take some of my um, really cool, oh here's some, um, I have some really cool butterfly stamps that I could just um, stamp on the fabric and then that could be the inside and then I could do some like text and stuff so I could just do like a stamp collage with the fabric. Um, this is a little more yellow though. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. This stuff over here, this is, oh, this is like feather duvet stuff. Feather, feather down proof fabric. I really like stamping on this stuff. This stuff is nice. I got this from my mom. So, all right, let's continue on. Let's measure out for the small one and then I'll figure out something off camera for the inside. We want it 
Which way do we want it? Put it this way. Just. So let's actually do it this way. We'll have more coverage this way. Okay. And we'll nip it and rip it. Nip it and rip it, I say. That's what we shall do. Nip and rip. There we go. A nice, we could do a cool fabric flip with that. Yes, we could. Nothing's going to waste, I can tell you that. Even the zipper, I might, uh, might salvage that zipper. We'll see. Wouldn't that be cool if we could integrate a zipper into the cover of our journal? on the inside. So have like a zipper pocket. That would be something different, wouldn't it? Sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. I think that would be something really different. I've never seen anybody do that. What do you guys think? Have a, like a, put another piece, pocket, Zip. Okay, I'm going to think on that. Mom, I'm going to come to you with that and we're going to brainstorm on how we can incorporate how can we incorporate a zipper pocket into our journals. I know my mom will have a way to do it, so I am going to meet with her and discuss that. So remind me, Mom, that I want to talk to you about that so that we can come back and share with our friends. Okay. So we will do that. Maybe, maybe my mom and I will do a video together on how we do that. What do you think, mom? You want to do a collaboration between Crafting Through the Chaos of Life and Around to It? Yeah, if you guys don't know, my mom has her own YouTube channel as well, where she does sewing and quilting and knitting and all sorts of things. It's all the things that she needs to get around to it to do. So, yeah. All right, so I think I'm going to end this video here. We'll just quickly take a review of what we have gotten done, which is actually quite a bit. So we have the butterfly journal cover. We have the fairy journal cover, so that's two. We have our blue journal, which is from our fabric paper, um, the dryer sheets that we did. So one, two, three. We have our elephant journal cover, which is four. Um, we have the William Morris, which is five. We have the napkin, which is six. Then we have six. Then we have this collage one, which is seven. Okay. And then we're going to do this poppy one, seven, eight. This one's going to be nine. And this one is going to be 10. So I'm going to do these off camera because I showed you guys how I did the other ones. And then I'll figure out uh, what I want to do the insides of these with. Yeah, so I hope that was uh, somewhat uh, informative and helpful for you guys to take a look at things in a different way, whether it be pillowcases old duvet fabrics. You can find cool fabrics at the thrift store, you guys. So take a look there and then all sorts of different other things that you can use for covers. So I want to thank you guys so much again for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. I appreciate you. I hope you have a rest of your day as wonderful as you are and we'll catch you on the next video. And hey, P.S. I love you.